Electric car sales in Australia have just gone absolutely ballistic. The market share for electric cars in Australia last year, 1.8%. However, this year it's at 7.8%. That's what, four times as many EVs sold as a percentage of car sales versus last year. But the car market this year has actually grown. So it's more than four times as many sold. Incredible numbers. Tesla, best-selling passenger car in Australia for a number of different months this year, including the last month we just had, the month of June. However, this is actually really good news for Tesla and BYD, but pretty bad news for everyone else. Now, when I say everyone else, I'm not including MG or Great Wall Motors in that discussion because they're about to kill the market with their very, very affordable new electric cars. But currently, without Tesla and BYD, car sales in Australia, electric car sales in Australia would be absolutely abysmal. Hello, my friends. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. And yes, I'm from Australia. So this, this kind of stuff is very interesting to me. Now the Driven reports that the Tesla Model Y beat the Ford Ranger Ute, uh, which is traditionally the first or second best-selling car in Australia. Of course, it's a commercial vehicle, not a passenger vehicle. And it actually was the best-selling passenger car, like I said, so far in the month of June. Of course, it was the best-selling SUV of any type in the month of June in Australia with 5,560 sales, meaning it outsold the Toyota RAV4 at a pace of two to one. That's amazing. The FCAI said battery electric vehicles accounted for 9% of sales in June or 8.8%. Incredible, that's 11,042 for the month, making up 7.4% so far this year. But that figure will only increase because we've got three new electric cars, all priced under $40,000, three new models. All of them are actually good cars. People have a lot of choice in that affordable segment now you can't you really can't say anymore that evs are expensive because they're simply not plus most states in australia have incentives so i mean for example you can buy those three models of car the mg4 the bwd dolphin and the great wall motors aura for around thirty four thousand dollars or just under thirty four thousand dollars in queensland most other states around thirty six thousand dollars but what is still a little bit concerned to me is the fact that really there's only so far at the moment two car companies selling big numbers of evs in australia that is of course, Tesla and BYD. Tesla, 5,560 sales of the Model Y, best-selling passenger car in Australia. That's just staggering. BYD, at 03, 1,532 deliveries, was in second place. Third place was the Tesla Model 3 with 1,458 sales. Fourth, the MG ZS EV with only 387. So, I mean, fourth place to first place is such a wide gap. 387 versus 5,560. Now, let's really hope that MG brings a lot of MG4s. I've already heard, I already know a guy who just bought three MG4s for his ride sharing company. Uh, I can see a lot of them being sold. We just need to get the volume here to Australia. Hopefully MG does that. Then next in fifth place was the Polestar 2 with 251 sales, followed by the XC40 Recharge, the Volvo, 156 sales. Kia EV6 was in seventh, 154. Great car, Kia. Bring more of them to Australia, please. Next was the Volvo C40 Recharge, 151 sales, followed by the Kia e Nero, 125. That's had a price increase recently. Then the Mercedes-Benz EQA with 121. It's worth pointing out the fact that Hyundai and BMW haven't reported their sales figures. They don't seem to be, they seem reluctant every month to report their EV sales figures for some reason. I don't know why. Anyone got any ideas on why that might be? Yeah, probably because they weren't that good. I think by this time next year, there's going to be four big players in the Australian EV market. Of course, Tesla will still be number one, most likely. Although BYD are planning to bring in four electric car models. There'll be quite a bit of choice there. Tesla, BYD, Great Wall Motors, and of course, MG. Everyone else will just be fighting over the little scraps. Those will be the biggest four players. I would say in order, Tesla, BYD, MG, followed by Great Wall Motors. In that order. No matter what the case is, though, I predict that by this time next year, 20% of all new car sales in Australia will be fully electric. And by 2030, like I've said many times, it will be game over for gasoline and diesel powered vehicles. We will have compelling electric utes and trucks by 2030. 80% of the car market in Australia by 2030 will be fully electric. This means most likely Japanese automotive companies will have lost at least 50% of their market share in Australia. Big changes disruption. This is the future and it's, it's quite exciting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.